Bill, thanks for your time on Fit and Flex. Now tell us about your sponsors. How have they helped your career? Well, the two major sponsors have helped me out pretty much from the beginning. Uh, one being uh, Flex Magazine, Muscle and Fitness, the Joe Weaver Publications. Um, they gave me my first, you know, big spread in, in Flex Magazine, and I've been with them ever since. Uh, as of 2010, I, I signed with uh, Team Muscle Tech, and they definitely have helped me, you know, I would say expand my career. Uh, obviously, provide me with a great amount of supplements. You know, they do an incredible job with their research and development team to provide me, you know, awesome, you know, an awesome arsenal, if you will, yeah. of uh, supplements to help me, you know, obviously win mm. contests and be at my all-time best. Now, Phil, you favor the eight to 12 rep range. Tell us why. I just noticed that anything under eight repetitions, I probably need to lighten up the weight a little bit. Uh, anything over 12, I can do more weight. It's just a good rep range to try to develop, you know, good strength but also muscle endurance. Now, when bulking up, Phil, how many calories and meals do you consume? Usually, when I'm bulking up, I'm getting where anywhere from 58 to 6,400 calories a day. That's usually spread out from six to seven meals a day. Mm -hmm. And then I'll probably throw in one or two shakes. So uh, it's a ton of protein, you know. Uh, the macros are, are in the 500s, you know, as far as yeah, protein yeah. And, and carbs are concerned. You're also a fan of slow repetitions and not throwing a whole heap of weight around. I mean, it's all about the contraction, right? Absolutely. I believe in constant tension. So a lot of guys may have a very fast tempo when they train. Yeah. Um, for me, I've noticed that you could actually decrease the the maximum poundage that you would lift, like let's say on your last sec second to last or last uh, set, mm. maybe decrease the weight by 10%, yeah. but actually go a slower, you know, uh, positive and negative contraction. And that to me is building real muscle mass because when you're going very quickly, you're only working certain muscle fibers. Mm. But when you're able to hold that weight for an extended period of time, let's say one to five seconds, mm. now you know that this muscle is being worked. Yeah. They're feeling it throughout the entire repetition. Yeah, yeah. And to me, I like it because as I get older, I realize that it is impressive to be able to lift heavy weights, but it's even more impressive to actually manage that weight. Mm -hmm. So for instance, if I'm just pressing really fast, yeah, I could be pressing 200 pound dumbbells, but I'm probably gonna get hurt eventually because of how fast the movement is. If I could just go slow and then come down slow, to me, that's real strength, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah.